Hi guys, it's Samtech here. Okay, here are the 10 insane things that you can do with your Google Assistant. I've seen people who hate reading text by themselves, maybe in news articles, stories or anything. They'll feel comfortable if they could have a narrator for them. So Google Assistant can act as a narrator for such people. For that, just go to any web page and being on that web page, just invoke your Google Assistant and ask it to read the page. And automatically using the text-to-speech technology, the Google Assistant will read the entire web page for you. So the Google Assistant can narrate stories, read news articles, read blogs or read any web page for you if it can detect some text content on the screen. You can also use your Google Assistant as a translator. It can not only translate simply text but also can translate your speech directly into other languages. Ok, say for example if you have to speak to a person who knows only Spanish, just take your phone, ask your Google Assistant be my Spanish interpreter and this time you need not do anything manually as Google can automatically detect the language being spoken. And for example if you say how are you, it will detect that language being spoken is English and it will be translated to Spanish and if the other person says hola, it will detect that it is Spanish and it will be translated to English. If you have a Google Home smart speaker with you and if your device is lost, you can ask your speaker to find your phone so that your phone will ring for 5 minutes continuously even if the phone is set into do not disturb mode or silent mode. Apart from smartphones, you can also find other things such as your purse, key or bag if you have a Bluetooth tile connected to it. You can take quick selfies on your smartphone in 3 seconds just by using your Google Assistant. Just say, hey Google, take a selfie and within 3 seconds of time, Google will automatically take a selfie so that you need not touch the screen at all. When you are in a coffee shop or anywhere outdoors and when you hear a good piece of music, you would definitely want to know what song is that. So just take out your phone, say, hey Google, what song is this? And within a few seconds of time, Google can automatically detect the song through the microphone and give you all the details about that song. Okay, if you are a student, I think Google Assistant is a good platform to learn things quickly. You can know about the scientific names of plants and animals, know about the formula of a chemical compound or learn something new in physics. Okay, I am a computer science and engineering student, so let me ask something tricky to Google Assistant. Hey Google, what is 1 trillion in binary? 1 trillion is binary 11100011010101000 Much 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 later Oh 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 Oh, it's over. Instead of setting reminders based on time, you can also set reminders based on places using the Google Assistant. And for example, if you have to pick up your car keys when you reach home, just say, hey Google, remind me to pick up my keys when I reach home. And when the Assistant detects the location to be home, the reminder will ring automatically. When you say good morning to the Google Assistant, it will give you the whole information of the day, including the weather forecast and important news headlines and more, which is a preset action called routines in the Google Assistant. Apart from the preset routines available in the Google Assistant, you can also define your own custom routine so that your Google Assistant can do multiple actions for you with a single command. For that, just invoke the Google Assistant and tap the profile picture icon in the top right corner and now go to the Assistant settings and in the settings go to the Assistant tab and under that find the routines option and there in the routines menu you can find a button called create a custom routine and there you can define your custom routine whether it can work based on commands or based on time and date. With the Google Assistant, you can have some sort of control over your device settings including toggling Wi-Fi, mobile data, airplane mode or flashlight on or off or else you can adjust the volume or brightness of your phone but this amount of control over the device settings is very limited because Google Assistant cannot toggle settings like mobile box for it but other voice assistants like Samsung Bixby can do it because they have more control over the device settings. But among the voice assistants available in Android devices, I think Google Assistant is the best one. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do consider subscribing. That would really mean a lot to me. I'm Deepak. This is Exaltech. I'll catch you guys in the next one.